Hi Pisces, this is a general love reading for mid-April 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus signs. And it is general, so not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person's other signs, or you can get a personal reading. All the information for those is in the description box. Also keep in mind that the rules can be reversed for general readings. Alright, let's see what is going on with Pisces. Mid-April. Alright, we have destruction and we have patience. Okay. Alright, so something is definitely um, very intense right now for one of you or maybe even the both of you or possibly within the connection. Um, and this is possibly a situation that is requiring a lot of patience. We'll see when we get into it. But there's definitely something going on here. Something is really just being either destroyed or a big, big change in something. Let's see. And it could be something that has been um, coming up for a while. three of wands so definitely definitely a lot of waiting here there's been a lot of waiting and I feel like someone's either done waiting or something's happening let's see all right so for you we have the seven of wands we have the two of swords and we have the Five of Swords. All right, what is going on with Pisces? All right, I see. I feel like there is something that needs to be ended here, something that needs to be changed, something that is big. It's like a tower. Um, and whatever that is, I feel like you might be having a little bit of a resistance to it. Um, and it might be something that you know deep down that you need to do or that you need to change. Um, but you're avoiding it. That's just what, what I'm getting here. All right, again, don't forget, roles can be reversed. Let's see what's going on for them. The King of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Two of Cups. Wow. All right, so there's a person here that has a lot of passion for you, a lot of love. Like, that's that's pretty much all I'm going to say. This is just someone who really, really wants you. Um, let's see what is coming up. I mean, we're going to clarify, so we'll get more information. The Page of Pentacles, the World, and the Queen of Swords, and final message here is the Ace of Cups. All right. So there's definitely some movement happening here in the near future. Um, I'm not sure if whatever it is that needs to be destroyed is actually being destroyed just yet, um, or, or needs to be transformed or whatever that is. I do see small steps being taken in that direction towards putting an end to that, to whatever it is that needs to be ended. And I do see a lot of clarity and a lot of um, just feeling very firm about it. I'm not sure if it's happening though just yet. What I do know is that there is a lot of love here. All right, so let's let's clarify. All right, so seven of wands for you. Hanged Man, the King of Swords, and the Three of Cups. All right, so there's definitely here a a situation that you are avoiding. Again, with that Hanging Man, you're you're being patient, you're waiting, but I feel like like you want to be determined, you want to make this decision, but I feel like you are trying to really look at it from different perspectives 
but I'm getting that, you know, there's a chance here that by doing that, it might be a way of procrastinating. It might be a way of just kind of keeping your guard up and um, holding back from allowing something to happen. Now, for some of you, this could involve in some way or another um, a third party situation. And for others of you, it might involve a coming back together with someone. So, or it could be even both. It could be both. But whatever the case is, I feel like you're avoiding it a little bit. Um, let's see, even though you want to, that's the thing. Let's see the Two of Swords. Six of Cups and the Two of Swords again. All right, so yeah, this is somebody possibly from your past that you are thinking about reconnecting with. And maybe in order to do that, some, you feel like something is going to be really um, different. So you're going to have to make a huge change or something is going to be destroyed or you might lose something else. Whatever the case is, again, it's like you're, you're kind of staying in the state of not, not really taking much action. And again, I, I mean, I feel like you want to, but it's kind of like finding justifications to yourself for waiting. And I mean, you would know best if you feel like there is something you need to wait for. Just make sure that you're not just trying to protect yourself based off of an insecurity or fear. Let's see the five of swords. And then, you know, for some of you, it might even be the exact opposite. It might be that someone has um, come back and you're, and you're trying to not <laughs> approach them. All right, it could be that too. And trying to, and not really making a decision here. Whatever it is, I feel like you know. You know what it is that you want. You know what would be good for you, but you're also trying to protect yourself. All right, so. Um, the Five of Swords, we have the Two of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Empress. I feel like, for the, mo for the most part, I feel like this is somebody that you would want. There's a part of you that really holds this person in a high regard, um, but I feel like there's also some confusion around that. And so there's a lot of back and forth, but for the most part, I feel like you you are keeping yourself in this state of kind of like a self-sabotage, playing mind games with your own self, with the back and forth about what you want to do with this particular person. So I feel like it's your mind getting in the way, um, even though deep down you know, you know. So if you can find that, I feel like that will guide you towards making the right the right decisions here. Let's see what's going on with them because I see a lot of passion here. Maybe this is someone else you you would know. So King of Wands. The King of Pentacles and the Moon. This is somebody who really wants um, stability with you, but there's also, there's, let me get one more. All right, the Ten of Wands, all right. So I feel like for a lot of you um, that this is resonating for you, it might be that you are cross-watching for a Pisces, all right? So if, so, so for those of you who are not cross-watching, it might be the other way around. It really just depends. It doesn't have to be. All right, this is a person who really wants stability with you, or at least wanted that. They have a lot of passion and they feel like they just really, really want this to be something long term. Um, however, at the same time, I feel like they, they have a lot of um, fear or just they don't really know what is going on with you. And I feel like that is beginning to really um, exhaust them. It's, it's getting a little bit tiring for them. It's become a burden on them. However, even so, I feel like they still feel this for you. Let's see the Ten of Cups. The Two of Cups, the Five of Swords, and the Devil. I 
I mean, this per, I mean, maybe this person has hurt you in the past. All right. For some of you, I don't get that that's for all of you. Um, what I do see is that whatever the case, this person holds a lot of love for you. This is somebody who really wants this connection. However, they, I feel like they're feeling betrayed at the moment. They're feeling betrayed by, by you. Um, for whatever reason and I feel like this is something that is creating a very deep fear within them and it might be creating a lack of trust like not knowing whether they can trust whatever your decision will be and that if you were to um, somehow unite with them they won't know if you are really serious or if you are really over your own um, your own fears or your own maybe you know maybe there's another attachment here or whatever whatever the case is for you. Let me see the two of cups. The nine of pentacles, the queen of wands, and the hierophant. I mean, again, this it's the same thing coming through here. This person just really wants this connection with you. I feel like, you know, you are very desirable to them. Yeah, there might be a little bit of a trust issue um, from their end. And again, I feel like for some of you, there was, there may have, it might be that you cannot trust them. And that could be what is making it difficult for you to really decide because you have this huge fear of this happening, getting together and then there being um, a destruction, maybe possibly something repeating itself, all right, for some of you. And for others of you, I feel like it's, it's, it's the other way around where this person is fearing that with you. So you would know, but whatever the case, this person still is willing to make things work with you. All right, so let's see what's actually coming up here in the near future. So let's see the page of pentacles. All right, the four of wands and the wheel of fortune. Yeah, okay, so it does look like you're moving forward. Um, I feel like you might, if this is you, I feel like you are becoming a little bit more um, accepting of there being a shift or of there needing to be a shift in order to have this stability, in order to have to have this connection. With someone here. It's like you know there has to be a shift. There has something needs to change here when it comes to a commitment. And I feel like that is that is happening in, in small steps. There's a lot that you're learning here. Let's see the world. All right, the Ten of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, see, so there it is. There it is. This is... All right, good, because <laughs> I was getting worried there for a second. But I do, I do see there being a shift here. There is a shift and there is a closing out of whatever it is that needs to be... Um, closed out or learned here in order to move you towards that Ten of Cups, towards your happiness, towards what it is that you really want and you taking action towards that. So there's definitely um, some sort of a completion here or at least a movement towards that, which is moving you towards something that is going to be um, happiness. I feel like with that Ten of Cups showing up again, I feel like it is this person here who really has this strong, um, bond and and just affection for you let me see the queen of swords all right we have justice and we have the three of swords so yeah you know that's a decision all right good I, i'm glad to see this because i feel like finally you know there is some movement here coming out of that two of swords energy and really becoming decisive here, being firm in what it is that you want to do, or just just being more clear about a decision that you need to make, despite the pain. I feel like that pain might still be there, or maybe the decision is going to be a little bit um, painful for whatever reason, because like I said, you know, something needs to shift, and that shift might be difficult. 
but I see I see things moving towards um, a resolution and of making a decision that is ultimately going to be um, in alignment with yourself, even if it does bring about some pain. Again, I mean, this could be the other person. So the final message here is the Ace of Cups. Let's see, because that's a lot of love, and it's a lot of self-love too. All right, the King of Cups and the Page of Wands. Yeah, definitely a door opening um, towards this love. I feel like it's going to come with a sense of newness, um, some enthusiasm, and again, I mean, King of Cups. And I mean, yeah, being a water sign, you know, I do feel like we do have quite a few cups here. So definitely the rules could be reversed, but um, I see this moving ahead. It's difficult, especially when something needs to be <laughs> destroyed or feel, it feels like it needs to be built again or any major changes. But I do see that potential coming up of being able to do that and that's leading straight to love. All right, Pisces. So if this resonated, let's see the final message for you. All right, and we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So yeah, because that might help to resolve some of these trust issues. It might help to get to the bottom of what it is that is making you feel defensive or the other person feeling defensive. There's, you can never go wrong with being honest about how you feel. So, Pisces, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching and much love.